The Battle of Osilovda was one of the largest tank battles fought during the Indo-Pakistani War of 1965. It was fought from 8 to the 10th of September 1965, when the Pakistan Army thrust its tanks and infantry into Indian territory, capturing the Indian town of Kem Karan 5 kilometers from the international border. The Indian troops retaliated, and after three days of bitter fighting, the battle ended with the Pakistani forces being repulsed near Osil Uta. Factors that contributed to this were the fierce fight put up by the Indian Army, conditions of the plains, better Indian tactics and a successful Indian strategy. This battle is compared with the Battle of Kusk in the Second World War for how it changed the course of the India-Pakistan War of 1965 in India's favor. War historians, including Dr. Philip Toll, regard the Indian resistance near Kem Karan as one of the key turning points of the war, one which tilted the balance of the war in favor of India. Peter Wilson states that the defeat of Pakistan army in the Battle of Osilota was one of the greatest defeats suffered by Pakistan forces in the course of the Indo-Pakistan War of 1965. Chapter 1 – Battle the battle is described as one of the largest tank battles in history since the Battle of Kusk in World War II. Pakistan's invading force, consisting of the 1st Armored Division and 11th Infantry Division, crossed the international border and captured the Indian town of Kem Karan. Considering the situation, Bork Indian 4th Mountain Division immediately ordered the division to fall back and assume a horseshoe-shaped defensive position with Osilota as its focal point. The battle strategy was the brainchild of Brigadier Thomas K. Theogaraj. In the night, the Indian troops flooded the sugarcane field, and the next morning, the Pakistani tanks of the 1st Armored Division, consisting mainly of M47 and M48 Patton tanks, were lured inside the horseshoe trap. The swampy ground slowed the advance of the Pakistani tanks and many of them could not move because of the muddy slush. Over 100 Pakistani tanks mostly Pattons, and a few Shermans and Chaffees, were destroyed and another 40-plus captured. While the Indians, by their account, lost only 10 tanks during this counter-offensive. Chapter 2 – Conclusion Despite the initial thrust of the Pakistani army into Indian territory, the battle ended in a decisive Indian victory. The commander of Pakistani forces Major General Nasir Ahmed Khan was killed in action. According to military historian Stephen Zaloga, Pakistan admitted that it lost 165 tanks during the 1965 war, more than half of which were knocked out during the debacle of Osilota. Pervez Musharraf, later Army Chief of Staff and President of Pakistan, participated in this battle as a lieutenant of artillery in the 16 Field Regiment, 1st Armored Division Artillery. The battle also witnessed the personal bravery of an Indian soldier, Abdul Hamid, who was honored with the Param Veer Chakra, India's highest military award, for knocking out seven enemy tanks with a recoilless gun. This battle led to the creation of Patan Nagar at the site of the battle. This is because a large number of Patan tanks fielded by the Pakistani forces were either captured or destroyed at the scene. Chapter 3 Battle Honor The Honor Osilukta was awarded for the period 9 to the 11th of September to the following units. Deccan Horse. 3 Cavalry. 91 Mountain Regiment. 40 Medium Regiment. 4 Grenadiers. 18 Rajputana Rifles. 1 Dogra. 2 Maha. 9 Jammu and Kashmir Rifles. Chapter 4 Published Accounts. Chapter 4 Section 1 Documentaries. Battle of Osilukta, largest tank battle since World War II is a TV documentary which premiered on VIA by Discovery Channel series, Mission and Wars. Chapter 5, Gallery. Chapter 6, Resources. 1965 Official War History, Ministry of Defense, Government of India. The Battle of Osilukta, Pakistan and India 1965, Orbat.com. The 24th of February 2002, archived from the original on the 6th of November 2006, retrieved the 3rd of November 2006.